Oh, hi there. Welcome to a new era. The modern world where any material can be made by AI with amazing properties. <coughs> and maybe even including time traveling UFOs. Jack CIA report was of course paid for and um, commissioned by people who want to build weapon systems. Um, who's the leading country at looking at advanced metamaterials and physics? Um, the United Kingdom always has been. Everything from submarines to radar to directed energy weapons and even invisibility cloaks, I joke not, by some leading scientists at very top universities. And today, in the 21st century modern world, that's been monetized or capitalized by a large British household name, Defence Industry, British Legacy Aviation and Defence Company. Oh, come on, Simon, it's called Rolls Royce. <laughs> building flying saucers. Well, maybe not actually a flying saucer, but building now the metamaterial based on Jack Zerfati's ideas of quantum metamaterials that can alter space, time and gravity. Jack's CIA report on the implications of metamaterials for building stuff and modifying time, space and gravity and how it interacts with consciousness, which is really interesting, is over 50 years old. Do you think for a minute they didn't actually go out and try and implement it? Um, uh, no, Jack. I asked Jack specifically, I mean, come on, Jack, who's building the metamaterials that you describe in this report? He says that he doesn't think there's anybody smart enough to actually um, understand what he's talking about. I had that problem. <laughs> but let's just hand the report to a large British defence contractor and say, what do you make of this? Um, why don't you go out and make it? They did, because I'm about to prove it to you how today you can build any material with any property that you can dream of, not knowing how you would build it by asking AI the internal structure of a material that would have an outcome that you desire. Let me intrigue you with facts of what's actually being produced. A Nike foam light -like metamaterial that when you put force on it in a step, it retains its sponginess and its softness, even although it compresses. So it doesn't get harder and flat like a normal airy foam does as you compress it in a step and a run. It compresses and stays soft. How do you build that? Metamaterials. A lightweight structure or skeleton of incredible complexity that surrounds a jet engine having the vibration, damping and other qualities that you desire in an incredible shape. Almost impossible to build, you know, out of a lathe or even a CNC machine. Not anymore. Get met materials to actually produce the entire structure with all the qualities of damping and vibration attenuation that you possibly need for a jet engine, thank you, Rolls-Royce Metamaterial Division. Or how about this crazy solid that when it gets hot, moves? Imagine you're in a bed in a room that was on fire. Your bed <laughs> moves out of the room. No, I mean, that's a crazy application. But think of Formula One racing. Think of fire protection. Think of buildings. Think of something that would actually physically traverse a space three-dimensional space at a given temperature. It's totally solid, heat it up, and it actually starts to move out of that space. AI metamaterial. And back to Rolls-Royce, a bearing material that on one side is rock harder than steel, and on the other side is pliable, 
for a rotational drive shaft. But the amazing new quality of that material that exists is, is if it breaks down and starts to fragment, each individual tiny fragment of this bearing material retains all the structure of the big bearing. So a tiny bit of it is still hard on one side and soft on the other. So you've got longevity and incredible engineering built into a single material a meta material. Now, this is all news to me because I thought meta materials were complex internal structures that redirected electromagnetic frequencies. And so they do, I mean, stealth skin of aircraft. That's how that works. But there are meta materials with physical characteristics that are unbelievably and unimaginable. And today, what I've learned is you can put in an output what you want and the material what you've got and an AI program will direct a 3D printer using your material to produce the outcome that is desired just with your human basic material science the building of the shape of the material how it slides how it interacts is totally designed by its outcome using AI including flying saucers possibly thanks Jet Safati down to the quantum level of near field metamaterial science, which is a way to build FTL faster than light vehicles. Is it true? Nobody's going to tell me, but I have something very interesting to say, which is all about metamaterials. I'm wearing one, really. A t-shirt company, and you might wonder why I've got this up here, called Fiobock, are a metamaterial company who saw my love of black t-shirts and said, would I like to try their new material and fit? Long covers the um, builder's bits and amazing quality. It's both thermally stable in hot and cold. I am loving this line of t-shirts. I'm not going to wear anything else. They wash super well. They're long. They fit an older male body. But the actual quality of the material is fascinating. So link in the description to Firebock. And thank you very much for the t-shirts. And imagine seeing somebody on YouTube and going, you're scruffy, you should wear our t-shirts. That's what they did. But when they arrived, I was going, this is amazing. They're not cheap t-shirts with... I love Lucy and tested written on them. These are amazing quality. Um, I think they're offering you a discount, which is very kind of the Firebot people. Uh, link in the description. Thank you, Firebot. I'm really enjoying them. Me and Wallace the Goat says, top t-shirt. And thanks to Jack Sarfati, there's probably things flying out there from another world.